Welcome back to Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans to another really exciting episode of Spider-Man PS4 101 and a huge, huge honor that I have with me today, the one, the only, the incredible Warbly Jets from, of course, as you saw in that intro, Spider-Man PS4 with their hit song, Alive. How's it going, guys? Going good, man. How you doing? Yeah. Very good. So right now we are at the bottom of the Hill Club's green room. Uh, awesome v VIP access, of yeah. course, thanks to you guys. You're about to go on, like I guess, like a couple hours or so. Mm -hmm. uh, any jitters or anything? Just another day in the life of the Jets, just kicking ass, taking names. That's right, you know it. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I guess the cool thing about you know your band in general is that it's so unique and different. Where I saw another interview where you guys had, you're just so like above the fray, like not sellouts, totally original, and music comes from the heart. And that's why I really love about music in general is that it really is impactful and connects people in such a great way. And with your music, um, mainly with Alive, uh, the message that you convey in it is that just, you know, just be yourself, be yeah, free, be open really. to a lot of things. Well, what type of message is that for you guys to convey to your fans out there, like with your music that is really impactful to people when they listen to it? What is our message as a band? Yeah. I think, you know, it, it varies from person to person. I think overall we make music that we, we want to move people um, mm -hmm. and to make people feel something. You know? Right. And we can't always pinpoint what that feeling is that someone else is going to feel, but it does always originate from a place of feeling inside of ourself. You know? Definitely. Yeah. And um, mainly with heroes in general like you guys, with actually sending such a positive <laughs> message. Uh, <laughs> respect. Um, with just sending such a positive message to people with, you know, this great music. And like Peter Parker, mm -hmm. he got bitten by a radioactive spider. Mm -hmm. um, he lost his Uncle Ben and learned the great lesson of with great power comes great responsibility. That's sure. his origin story. With you guys, the Warbly Jets, what is your origin story? How did you actually become this hit band? And make such great music because of the bonds that you have with each other um just a lot of work you know yeah. i mean I mean, we all kind of met by chance and, and circumstance and a mixture of those things but um it's just been a lot of work day in day out and kind of just do this 24 7. awesome yeah. um and mainly with i guess just people who listen to your music um, there's a lot of different, you know, genres out there. Like, of course, now it's kind of more progressive and, you know, kind of like a more electronic and dubstep mm -hmm. type stuff. Would you guys categorize yourselves as like rock and roll? Or I see that you guys have a really cool, unique style mm -hmm. to you, kind of like a Euro kind of mm -hmm. rock vibe going on. Mm -hmm. Would you categorize yourself in that type of genre or like something more out there? I think it's kind of, it's always revolving and, and ever changing. Um, I think this first record that we made that uh, that Alive is on is, is more of a rock centric record. Um, right. But I don't think we've ever considered ourselves to be exclusively a rock band. And right. um, even with a lot of the new tunes that we're working on now and this new EP that we just put out, kind of exploring different sonic territories and trying to bend genres in a way and, um, and just be creative with the process of writing and not be limited by uh, the boundaries of what people would consider to be a rock band. You right, because you, you guys just follow the beat to your own drum. And that's yeah. what I love about yeah, it, totally. all the people out there too. Absolutely. Um, and that also goes with just Alive in general. I mean, I know you guys have awesome tunes. My, some of my favorites is Fast Change, sure. Raw Evolution, mm -hmm. um, you know, so many other great songs. Um, but with Alive, would you guys say that's like your, I guess, I don't know, Golden Goose of all your tunes or just one that you're really just proud of that you made out of um, the other ones? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I think we're proud of it because it's connected to a lot of people yeah. at this point. A lot of people have gotten something out of it, so I think there's something to be proud of there. I mean, 
in terms of it being like our golden goose, like our, our gold standard for making right. music, I think I don't even know if we've reached that point yet. Right. Yeah. I think we're kind of, at, you know, as, as we're ever evolving and pushing forward and, you know, uh, we're still a very new band, you know, Absolutely. in a lot of ways. So we're, I don't know if we've hit that, that point yet where, we're, yeah. where, we can, where we can say that. Right. And because of how recent you guys are, I think it's so cool that people who from different, you know, areas of appreciation of games, music, um, with a character like Spider-Man that brings a lot of people together with so many people, how does a character like that really inspire your music in any way, if it at all, um, because of how they actually incorporate alive in the game? Um, do heroes like that influence you in any way or inspiration from like other bands that you've uh, looked up to in the past? Absolutely. I mean, um, not be it superheroes or be it uh, other musical important figures or right. politicians or writers or actors, actresses. Um, I think that there's definitely people that we would all identify with individually that were hugely inspirational to us and the path that we chose and it's awesome. And what we do with our life as humans. Yeah. Sweet. Um, and mainly if you guys are even allowed to talk about the gritty details, how did Alive actually come to be included? in Spider-Man PS4 because a cool thing that I think about all the time is that anytime it could be someone's first time uh, interacting or being exposed to Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. For me it was uh, the first early Tobey Maguire movies sure. uh, in the 2000s where mm -hmm. the first song that I actually identified with was uh, Hero by Nickelback oh, yeah. um, where they had that song play where they showed Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man um, you know jump around and do all these crazy stuff and with you guys, it's alive, and that could be someone's first time seeing Spider-Man, period, mm -hmm. and be exposed yeah. to your music and your song. Yeah. Right. So how does that make you guys feel? It's definitely an interesting thought. I mean, we we knew that. Um, it's pretty crazy. That yeah. we had yeah. we knew that we had gotten the song in the game, but it was never really communicated how it was going to be used. Right. Uh, be it like right at the top, pretty much as soon as you hit play. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think once we saw that that came out. It's kind of a weird thing, actually. I remember the day that the game came out or something. It was just like, I like logged into our, our email and just had like, you yeah. know, like thousands of YouTube <laughs> right, notifications. Yeah. It was just like, what is this? And then like watched it and was like, wow, crazy. This is like, yeah, right at the top. And uh, I think it's great. You know, it's, it's connected us to a whole other group of people that would have never known about us. And honestly, like, I don't know that I would have really known about them either. And it's really great to meet people like yourself. And, Thank you very much. And just have interaction with other people, you know? Yeah. Is that like a, a change that's really like exciting for you guys? Like opening up your band to so many new fans? Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Anytime yeah. we can connect with people is, is great. And that's all we're ever trying to do. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And I know you guys have really cool backgrounds too. Like Julian, you were, um, you worked at a radio station as a, a kid. Yeah. And, and you, uh, Samuel, you uh, interned at a company called uh, Electric Lady Studio or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I interned at, yeah, at a studio in New York called Electric Lady. Right. And, mm -hmm. and seeing how you guys have like come so far, obviously with your music and your you know careers, um, is it always tough to like keep innovating with your music or like um, I guess the standard message that you keep on uh, continue to convey with people on a really heartfelt level with your uh, music to you know not I guess you know become. Um, obscure to some people like always trying to keep you know in the spotlight for some people is that always kind of like a challenge or something that's welcoming to you guys yeah, I think yes and no I mean I don't think we're ever really trying to do one particular thing other right. than, and I mean uh, staying inspired and, and to create something new is, is can be challenging but I think right that, um, it's never really proved difficult yet Mm -hmm. nice. To have those ideas, um, and at least just like a direction of things, or you know, a message you want to convey, or something. Right. You know, it's just kind of like that. Just comes from internally. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think mostly the 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 main thing for me that can be difficult sometimes is just um, continuing to push the boundaries. You know, it's kind of as if you you know if you're a runner and you run a mile and you've never ran before, that seems like so far, you know. But after you've been doing that for months, it's like running a mile is nothing. So you're searching Absolutely. for that next mile to run, you know? Yeah. And sometimes that can be difficult, but that's 
what we're after at the same time you know as That's artists you always want to continue to find inspiration in something new and not just repeat the same process that you've already succeeded at you know right so trying to find new difficult walls to break through mm -hmm. is always a goal that we keep in mind yeah absolutely and always with reaching new heights and new standards for uh, music i think it's so cool that not only have you guys been so unique with the way that you convey your music but also the fact that since uh your song alive is incorporated in the game uh, i don't know if you guys know about this statistic but it as currently as of november sold over nine million copies it's the fastest selling PlayStation exclusive game of all time and the best selling Marvel game ever made. And your song is in it. And so many people have been exposed to it through that game. Yeah, that's and crazy. I didn't actually yeah, know. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty nuts. nuts. Yeah. yeah. And seeing how it's in international too, like worldwide, yeah. everywhere people are listening to your song through Spider Man and connecting with it on a personal level. And uh, shout out to Lewis who, uh, of course, says that the uh, song Alive made the game 10 times better for him, which I totally agree with. Great. Awesome. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Absolutely. Thanks, and, Lewis. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Lewis. I think the game made the song 10 times better for us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I totally agree. Um, how would that um, feel, like, as an outsider, just seeing that through the world of gaming, seeing your music be incorporated into a character as important as Spider-Man? I mean, it's great. I think, yeah. you know, I was immediately excited about it. Um, we've had other video game syncs, like we had Fast Change was in one of the Need for Speed That's games, awesome. which was also cool. But yeah, to be kind of directly related to like Spider-Man's like in wake the, up song. You know, yeah, the game like, or like just as a as a player of the game, it's a it's a really cool moment for your song to kind of like be there to push an emotional impact as you like go out on this you know journey that it turns out a lot of people really enjoy doing yeah and uh you know it was an incredibly impactful and popular game that you know like brought a lot of joy to people and that was like mm -hmm. our our song was used to sort of launch people off on that little journey that you know so that, that they took some of them multiple times. Right. <laughs> I know that yourself. feeling all too well. Yeah. And I think it's just so great that with your the message that you convey through your music and how it also really does relate to people who are trying to continue to inspire themselves every day and also keep going forward and pushing forward in life in general. Mm -hmm. I think it's such a motivational message that you guys convey with your music. And I think it's just such a cool way to connect it to people like you said of all you know genres gamers musicians mm -hmm. yeah. totally. people like that and um mainly for you guys how do you personally relate to spider-man um i know your music is very very you know forthright and very very outgoing which i love and it has such a unique vibe to it um with spider-man as a character he's so unique in so many ways and people can connect to him on so many personal levels do you have that same same type of uh, connection too with Spider-Man? Um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely connected as a kid with Spider-Man in a pretty massive way. Also, for myself, with the early Tobey Maguire movies. Nice. And um, I forget what the video game, which one it was, but I played one of the early Spider-Man games, actually right. on PC. I was actually telling, I think it was you about this, joking about it. It was the first time I broke my wrist when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember... Uh, being at the hospital and the doctor was like putting the cast on my arm and I was like, am I still gonna be able to hold the controller? Because I was like addicted to playing the Spider-Man game. Like right, I loved right. it so much. And right, like, right. it was like a big deal for me, like getting the cast because I was scared that I wasn't gonna be able to yeah. use my controller to play the game. So Spider-Man's always been my favorite superhero and um, mm -hmm. I like the idea of struggle and, um, and also the kind of like, incidental crazy situation of just like mm -hmm. getting the superpower via like a accident more or less you <laughs> right. know and just like mm -hmm. him being kind of a bit of a punk sort of in a way and right. like looked down yeah. upon and then all of a sudden he's like you know has this this thing that he could kind of you know control his own life with all of a sudden mm -hmm. and uh, just having that sort of ability to change his whole trajectory of his life 
through an accident, you know? It's a gift. I always, I like that idea for a superhero. I think that's a really cool mm-hmm. backstory. It's amazing. And I feel like it's such a great thing because um, in the recent uh, Spider-Man movie, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, the message is anyone can wear the mask. Like, anyone can be Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's also a great message to connect with you guys. Like, anyone can, you know, rise up against the fray and with your music, too. Like, alive, anyone can, mm-hmm. you know, follow their dreams. And totally. They want. Yeah, that's definitely kind of the same message that's inside of that song in general. Yeah. And I think a big part of why it does work well with the game. Absolutely. It's kind of a, you know, trial by fire mm-hmm. Yeah. song. Mm-hmm. I think it's such a great way to have it connect with people and have that mean a lot to them at the same time. And that's why I think that scene in the beginning of the game where Peter is getting out of bed, that's your first introduction to Peter. Mm-hmm. And I think that with that song in the background, it connects the player to that even more because of how it actually kind of relates to Peter as a character, period. Mm-hmm. where he is alive, he's, you know, such this vibrant person. You guys yourselves, too, you know, really, of course, connecting with the fans yeah. on such a great way and such a passionate way, too. I think that's such a great way on how all of you connect with Peter as well. Right. Um, and also, of course, uh, you're currently on tour, the Propaganda yeah, Tour. Propaganda um, tour. It's totally <coughs> balls to the wall awesome. It's kick-ass. <laughs> um, you're currently in... Uh, San Francisco right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, your next stop is Portland. Portland, yep. Yeah. Portland right. in two days. And nice. then we go to um, Vancouver in Sweet. Canada. And then Seattle. Awesome. And then we kind of come back down California and then we start our journey east from there, like Vegas and the southwest. And then That's epic. Further, oh, further east. Through. Oh, yeah, it's through. like, we're kind of going like, uh, it's like, we're going like making a big S turn sideways, like down the west mm-hmm. coast, up through the middle over to the east coast and then yeah. back up through Canada and back right. down. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Right. Is this, I guess, one of the most important tours that you guys have done? Like one of the biggest in terms of scale? Um, I mean, they're all important and they're all big, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's really no unimportant show that we ever play. Right. Um, Absolutely. At least we try to think about it that way. Um, these are we played larger venues before, but this is our first headlining U.S. tour, and uh, so in some ways, yes, it is a very important tour for us. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. More so than other ones. Well, I know for a fact you guys have definitely touched my heart with your music, and I know that when you guys continue to go on tour, you're going to keep being your awesome, influential selves. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks so much, awesome. dude. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for your time. Absolutely. Um, again, propaganda tour, hashtag it, tweet it, share it with your friends. Uh, Spy Squad's totally in love with the Warbly Jets, and if you love Spider-Man PS4, you're gonna love Propaganda. And I totally encourage you guys to go and check out their tour, wherever they're showing, awesome, you know, playing, their band, their songs, everything. Go check it out on their website, and you can find more info there. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your time. Yeah, man, no problem uh, at all. Awesome, and uh, until next time, True Believers, stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out. Yeah.